Lesson three, we're talking about multiplying decimals. So let's go over the steps first. So the first step is the most important step that we are ignoring the decimals. Okay, so we don't need to line up the decimals like you would for adding and subtracting. That actually, it can work, but it makes it a lot more difficult and a lot more room for errors. So we ignore the decimals and we're gonna rewrite the numbers as if there's no decimals, okay? Step two then, we're just multiplying them as if they are those whole numbers. And then step three, that's when we factor in those decimals. So we count the total number of digits to the right of the decimal point in both of the numbers that we are multiplying. And that's the number of digits that will be to the right of the decimal in our answer. So let's look at the first problem. We've got three and eight tenths times seven and two tenths. So again, I'm ignoring the decimal. So I'm basically doing 38 times 72. So I'm going to write that down here and multiply. So 2 times 8 is 16. So 6 carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Done with the 2. Put our 0 placeholder. 7 times 8 is 56. Carry the 5. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 5 is 26. Now we can add. 6 plus 0 is 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. So 3 carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. And then so here's where we have to go back and figure out. Well, obviously, 3 and 8 tenths times 7 and 2 tenths is not going to be 2,736, right? This is about 4 times about 7. So the answer that would make the most sense is somewhere close to 28, okay? But if we look at, we have to count the number of digits to the right of the decimal. So we've got one digit to the right, a second digit to the right. So that means I'm going to have two digits to the right of the decimal in my answer, which this makes sense. That's really close to 28, Okay. The mistake people make is they put their decimals in their answer and carry it down and think that it's 273 and 6 tenths. Second example. We've got 84 and 6 tenths times 72 thousandths. So again, ignoring the decimal point. So this is basically 846 times 72. So let's go ahead and multiply that. Again, the order in which you multiply does not matter. So we're going to multiply. 2 times 6 is 12. So 2 carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 8 is 16. So we're done with the 2. Put my 0 placeholder. 7 times 6 is 42. So 2 carry the 4. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 4 is 32, so 2 carry the 3. And then 7 times 8 is 56, plus 3 is 59. And then we can go ahead and add. 2 plus 0 is 2, 9 plus 2 is 11, 6 plus 1 plus 2 is 9, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 5 is 6. So again, Got to go back and see how many decimals are to the or digits are to the right of the decimal point. We've got one, two, three, four, which means I should have one, two, three, four decimals in my answer. I multiply an 84.6 times a really small number, so the number is going to be smaller than it. So let me give you one last problem that I want you to try on your own and then get it checked by me. So we're gonna do 35 and two tenths times six and eighty one hundredths. 